Hello YouTube and Ash and Superstar Mobile Lee here. This is Undone Love Story, the finale. Now on the last episode of Undone Love Story, I went back to my ex-girlfriend who got amnesia and I had to break up with her to declare my love to Ashley. Look, we have to talk. I don't know you. You do know me. What are you talking about? We've been together for years. Look. I think you're absolutely gorgeous. Everything about you is beautiful, inside and out. You're beautiful, sweet, talented, just a thoughtful person. And I know it hurts me when I'm in love with somebody else. I don't know you. Like, I don't even know what to talk Look, to you about right now. Listen, I know this may seem hard, but we can do this, okay, Emily? My name is Harley. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay? Stranger danger, man. I'm sorry. I have to break up with you. Okay, cool. Now separate. You're done. No, I'm just playing. That's not what happened. What happened was Mariah came back into my life and Tony was jealous. We were in a love triangle because she loved me and he loved her. Let's see what happened there. Let me guess. You called me over here to talk about Mariah. You don't deserve her. And who does? You? Yes, I love her. She's crazy. And you are crazy for wanting to be with her. She's not crazy, you're crazy. And I'm not crazy, you're crazy. She loves me more than anybody. Why don't you just ask her? Tell him. Tony, right? Yes. Um, listen, I, you, you're really great, and you're really great with Mr. Cow, and we like, we, you're interesting, you know, he likes you. I'm just, I'm not, I, I don't like you. Like at all. Man, man f forget you guys. Moby? Mariah, you've been so loyal to me. Such a faithful girl. I appreciate that a lot. What I have to say to you can't be said in front of Mr. Cow. So. Oh, bye bye, Mr. Cow. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna have to go. I'm just, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. That's not what happened. What really happened was, I got my heart broken. My best friend actually helped me through all of it. I went through a series of different dates and I realized I didn't like any of these girls. I was in love with my best friend, Ashley. And I've been scared to talk to her and tell her this because I really don't want to ruin the friendship that we have because she's my closest friend. But. I am. Um, I gotta tell her. I have to tell her, and I will. I will. But before I do that, I am going to make this finale epic. Whoa! All right. You're doing a bunch of crazy stuff that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, you're not even following this storyline right now. You can't just be like, "Oh, it's the finale. Let's do a bunch of stuff from different movies and crap." No. You still haven't told Ashley that you liked her. You need to call her up right now and tell her. Don't say you're Batman either. Tell her you like her. All right, man. Dang, whatever. You ain't gotta yell at me like that. Shoot. Narrated tripping. I'll let Ron call her right now. Hello? Hey, um, I need to talk to you. Could you meet me at, uh, like the parking lot at Steak and Shake? Because I'm also hungry. So, real important. And you should like dress nice because you know you find out when you get there. All right, narrator, you happy? Okay, let's go to the next scene. Hey. Look, there's something I need to tell you, and I can't hold on to it anymore. And at first I was scared too because I thought it'd make things weird. 
but I don't care anymore. I love you, and I have for a long time. All these times, all the days we spent together, I can't, you know, imagine my life without you, and I can't imagine you with any other guy except me. Mom, Mom, I wish you would have told me sooner, because I got a boyfriend. All around me are familiar faces. Just kidding. Cause all of me loves all of you. This and I'm talking about love at last. Hey, how many people could have guessed that the two best friends would have fell in love or were in love the whole time? She was putting him on all those girls, but in reality, he wanted him all alone. And I may be 16 with these big dreams, but I'm feeling like I'm living with a vain existence lately. I'm wondering how it would make any difference if maybe pertaining to living. I'm willing to give you a listen and take heed. My mama would give me them trucks in the kitchen, respecting all women, but some of them crazy. I'm thinking that's why this is so reminiscent of when I was 10 and she made me. Follow my father and live as a Christian, cause what a trick's up to ain't sleeves. Love is a game, and that's why I'll sit on the benches so no woman plays me. But ain't she gorgeous? Of course, if you see the frame of this Latina dame, you can't ignore it. But see, the thing is they just see the plain and unimportant. And like Horace, even from Eagle Rain. I see the portrait. portrait. They just see the frame. I see the portrait. That woman's trouble, but she's gorgeous. 